Hey there folks, John here with Through My Lens, and today I'm coming to you with a review of some uh, gun bags that are designed with the competitive shooter in mind. Uh, some, some really nice uh, layouts and designs uh, that uh, are a benefit to the competitive shooter. I do some competitive shooting, uh, both in pistol and in three gun, and had decided I wanted to get a different range bag or shooting bag uh, that could accommodate all the gear and stuff that I use for 3-Gun. There is a company called G Outdoors that specializes uh, in uh, gun bags, range bags. Uh, some, again, designed with a competitive shooter in mind. And uh, I couldn't decide between them. Uh, I've got both of them here now. This is the uh, G Outdoors GPS rolling range bag. Uh, and you can see it has the uh, GPS uh, label on it. Behind it, I've got the GPS handgunner backpack. Uh, and, and again, these are the two that I was looking at. Uh, I saw a lot of videos uh, on YouTube and reviews of this, this handgunner backpack. Uh, however, uh, there was not a lot of information out there on the rolling range bag. Uh, I probably wouldn't have even picked this up or tried it were it not for the fact that uh, a guy at the last three gun match that I ran into had one, and I got to see it in, uh, you know, in person and really get a good feel for all the room that it had, and thought, wow, this is this is uh, pretty nice. I can't really decide between uh, this and the handgunner backpack, so uh, you know, I decided to order both, try them out, and I'm going to return the one that I don't want to keep, which uh, for me, uh, the rolling range bag does seem to. Uh, meet my needs for a three gun much better than the handgunner backpack back here. And again, the main difference between them is that uh, this is more of a backpack design with uh, straps on the back uh, so that it can be carried like a backpack. While the rolling range bag has uh, like a luggage handle here that telescopes out much like a piece of luggage, and it does have wheels on the bottom uh, that are quite nice, actually. Let's see if I can tip this up without dumping it too badly. There we go. You can see the, the wheels. It's got uh, three on each side. They're nice wheels. Very durable. So let's go over the features of this bag, and uh, I apologize that I'm having to record this video a little differently than I normally do. Uh, normally my product reviews of guns and knives and su such are done in a little photo studio that I can use, but these two guys are a little too big to fit in my photo studio, so I thought, heck, I'll make use of my home gym and, and uh, the bench. I'll just put them on the bench and uh, record in there. So. Let's go ahead and dive right into some of the features of the rolling range bag. Um, one of the things I want to point out right up front is that this uh, this nifty label, which says uh, "Wild About Shooting," uh, you know, this could be used as like a piece of luggage. You could bring it with you if you were traveling to a match or, or uh, maybe a, a school, and you wanted to uh, get this on a plane. Uh, you probably wouldn't want anything referring to a gun or shooting on the, the luggage. That would probably uh, alarm some TSA people. But this is just a Velcro patch that can be removed, thank goodness. Uh, and then you can just uh, put that back on or maybe choose to put something else, an ID, an ID patch or something on there maybe. But I was, I was very pleased to see that that, that could be removed because I was a little bit concerned. Uh, I am going to the Six Hour Academy in June, uh, just a couple of months from now, and I plan to bring this with me, and I'm going to fly. So uh, I was very appreciative of that. Um, let's start off here with these pockets. Um, so let's see how I've got mine laid out. This first pocket here is obviously for pistol magazines, and it will hold 10. Uh, I've got several different kinds of, of pistol magazines, uh, some six-hour magazines for P320 here, 
a couple of uh, M&P 22 uh, magazines for when I see shoot uh, <clears throat> uh, Steel Challenge, uh, Room Fire Steel Challenge, and uh, I've got a couple of extra uh, M&P 9 Compact magazines here because my main competition uh, 9mm handgun is an M&P 9mm Compact. Moving over to this pocket, and again, you may see the seam here and think it's a pocket. It's not. It's just decorative. Uh, nothing can fit in there. In this pocket, I have decided to put a cleaning kit. I think that's what they designated this pocket for. Uh, there's, uh, I've got an Otis cleaning kit in here, which I plan to review uh, later, later on. I bought it specifically to go in this bag. There's a couple other containers here that you could put uh, solvents or lubricants in there. Uh, but an Otis kit fits very nicely in this pocket that I was very pleased about. So we'll just leave that like so for the time being. All right, that was a close. Moving to the side pockets on this side. And I'm going to show you uh, something that uh, I don't like about this bag. It's the, the way the, the side pockets are designed versus the way they're designed over here on the handgunner backpack. <clears throat> I wish the rolling range bag had gathered pockets, uh, but it doesn't. Uh, so if you put stuff in here like I have right now, not a whole lot can fit in. You can see I can, can't even get my hand in there. Uh, but what I've got in there for, for right now is just some, some extra batteries for optics and, and such. Uh, above in the main compartment, uh, I decided to put uh, first aid kit stuff, tourniquet, uh, an Israeli cinch bandage and a big first aid kit. I'll kind of go over all what I keep in my first aid kit in a separate video, but for now you can see this pocket will fit uh, first aid kit nicely. Moving to the other side, and again we have the same problem over here. Not a lot of room. Uh, I put some, that's the only thing I could fit in here that I needed put something in with some chamber flags. Uh, and then up here, this is basically odds and ends. Um, stuff that I won't use very much for some spare. Uh, uh, Kydex uh, magazines for, for my 22 magazines. Um, I've got, I'm not going to pull out too much, but I've got uh, the chokes for my, for my shotgun. On the back of the bag, you can see, so they've got this pouch that has their visual identification system here. Um, and I've got just a Gerber multi-tool that came with the Otis uh, cleaning kit. I've got it in there. Um, and then on the other side, they've got what, you know, a little plastic thing that you could put parts in. About the only thing I put in are, are, are some of the extra high-vis tubes for my shotgun. That's the only parts I've got in it right now. Neither of these are very secure. I wish this were better. It seems like you know, there's not a lot of Velcro holding that down, so that's not real secure. Then this, you know, it's not all that secure, so if you're bouncing around, I'm a little concerned about that. Could be better. Um, here it does have, you can see their, again, their visual ID system. Uh, you can see the picture of a target. You can put, you can roll up a target and put it here if you wanted to do so. Probably won't, not on my competition bag. Opening the bag, you'll see one of the things I really liked about it, and it's just how cavernous and deep uh, this particular bag is. Uh, you can see I've got a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, and there's room in here for my shotgun shells, plenty of room for pistol. Uh, 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 pistol rounds, uh, AR rounds, uh, uh, plenty of room in here for uh, for everything that I would use 
in a three-gun match. Uh, you can see I've got some AR magazines, a couple of 30-rounders, there's a 20-rounder over here in case I have to go prone, um, holster. Um, you can again see their visual ID system. Uh, it's got space for two pairs of glasses. I've got one in here that I can put over my uh, normal glasses that I need to see with. Moving around, you can see that I've got uh, their visual ID system. Uh, they've got some places for, for ear protection here. Um, and I do have some in there. I won't, I won't dig them out. I don't usually use earplugs, uh, but I thought, what the heck, since there's a place for them, you know, you never know, might need them. Um, so that's what I like about this uh, about this container. What I don't like, again, the zippered compartments uh, are very thin. You can't get much in them. I put a few extra shotgun rounds in there that were just laying loose. Um, and this one, it looks like it's padded and, and has a nice soft interior. It looks like it's meant to hold a pistol. I put my uh, M&P in there, uh, my 9 compact with the uh, Leopold optic on it, delta point. But uh, uh, not, a, not a whole lot else could fit in there. I'm just going to swing around so that you can see on this side. Again, I've got some... Uh, of the orange uh, earbud type ear protection in there. Kind of fits in there, kind of doesn't. Again, there's just, with these side zipper pockets, they're so thin, um, they don't really work. And the only other thing I don't like about uh, the bag, besides some of these pockets, uh, the zipper pockets, how they're made, is the visual ID system is sort of good. It sort of works. Sorry about that, the battery on my the camera ran out, so I'm just going to finish up things here with my iPhone. Uh, but what I was saying before is that the visual ID system kind of works, kind of doesn't. Um, in this case, they designate hearing protection for this pocket. Uh, given that it doesn't have a lot of room uh, for a hearing protection, I actually put my hearing protection in the bottom uh, of this bag, but uh, I, I opted to put uh, you know, some other things in this pack pocket. So um, in some cases the visual ID system makes sense uh, more so for like the very purpose uh, uh, made containers like for the hearing for the hearing and eye protection. Um, in other cases you probably won't necessarily agree with uh, the makers of the bag in terms of what you want to use the pocket for and the visual ID system doesn't really do, do you much good. I suppose you can argue that as long as it's got some kind of a marker, it helps you associate with you know the picture of whatever you actually put in there, but um, I don't think it does a lot of good otherwise. Um, uh, it's a nice thought though, I suppose. Uh, maybe some, some people will appreciate it more than I do. Uh, but again, otherwise, I do uh, really like the, uh, uh, the GPS uh, rolling range bag better than the, uh, the the handgunner backpack and uh, I'll go ahead and charge up my camera and uh, then I'll go over the handgunner backpack and show you why it's not going to work for me for three gun. Okay now we'll be taking a look at the G Outdoors GPS handgunner backpack uh, and I'll try to explain uh, why I didn't pick it for my three gun uh, range bag. So I think this is a great product. Uh, I just think it's smaller than what I need for a uh, three gun. And again, it's got the same removable uh, Velcro patch here, uh, if you're ever going to travel with it. So I guess one of the main, uh, I guess, benefits or, or features of this bag is this pouch right here that has, uh, basically, this is a foam cut out that you can put one, two, three, up to four handguns uh, in there, uh, which is pretty neat. Um, if you, here's kind of the kicker, to, to really use, to even consider using this, I would have needed the space in here. You can remove 
the, the foam thing and all that nice space is available to you, that could probably hold uh, all the ammunition I would need it to hold um, if this wasn't in there. Uh, I had considered, uh, when I was looking at this and trying to figure out if I could make it work, I had considered possibly cutting the foam such that if I cut it here uh, and cut these two slots out, that would leave a block of space that I could put some ammo in, but it ended up not being uh, enough. Incidentally, you can order spare the spares of these foam things from uh, G Outdoors and uh, uh, if you did want to configure it differently. Um, but uh, I will point out that here on this, uh, on the edge of the, or on the inside of this, uh, this pocket, there is a container that I think you're supposed to put uh, a gun cleaning kit. Uh, wouldn't work for the Otis kit that I bought, but you could put some stuff in here. Uh, and I think you can put uh, uh, rods, cleaning rods, in through here. So there is that pouch. Um, moving around to the side here, we've got some double pouches. Now, I like the pockets on the handgunner backpack a little better than I do on the uh, the, the rolling range bag that I set back here uh, because they seem to be better designed. You see how they can accordion out a little bit. So if you fill this one up, you can still put other stuff in here. And they're, again, they're good, generous pockets. Uh, looks like you can put ma mags in this pocket here. There's space for uh, about six magazines here. Um, behind it, there's another pocket for, well, there's no really specific des designations for that, just a good purpose. But you can see it's got gathers here so that it could uh, push out. And uh, I wish the other pockets on the uh, rolling range bag were designed in the same way because that would make the uh, several of the pockets much more functional than they are. Uh, this pocket up here, it's designated as silicon cloth. I don't know what you would use a silicon cloth for. Perhaps for cleaning it. No. Inside there's this velcro. I don't know. I guess this is a cup to hold the silicon cloth. I kind of thought maybe it was a brass catcher or something, but were it me, I would probably take this thing out and just use this pocket for something else. Um, it's not too, not a whole lot of room there. There's not too many uses for it. You could probably get some hearing protection in there or something. Um, moving around here. Opening up. All these zippers are good quality zippers too. YKK, I think. Uh, this pocket has... Um, what is this? Here's a little clip here that you could put something, maybe your keys or something. Another little zipper pouch here. And then the visual ID system here is here. You've got a couple, couple pairs of earplugs here and one pair of glasses. <coughs> Above it, you've got a, a space that they designate for, again, hearing protection. I don't know what else you could use this for. Um, there's not a lot of space in here. Um, your hand doesn't go down too deeply. You could probably put some hearing protection in there. Maybe a box or two of pistol ammunition. That's about it. So my, and again, you've got some, you know, here's a spot for a tool kit. Um, not a lot of room there. Um, 
you know, again, another couple of double pouches. There's nice little hidey hole pouches, but there's no big place. I kind of had hoped there was a lot more space on the interior of this. I thought maybe you could go in through here and that this was far more open, but it's not. Um, it probably should be noted that uh, if you see this little umbrella thing, there's a zipper up here. You can pull out a cover that can cover this entire thing uh, and make it uh, uh, rain, rain protected, which is a neat feature. Uh, it's got nice backpack straps to it. Um, I'm sure they would be comfortable, but again, I don't see how you could use this for three gun because there's just not a lot of room in there uh, for uh, you know, shotgun ammunition or holsters. Um, you could maybe put a first aid kit in some of these side pockets. Um, it just really didn't meet my needs. But again, if you're just a pistol shooter, if you're not a three-gun shooter, there's probably plenty of room here for your ears and eyes and several guns and some pistol ammunition. Um, probably would suit your needs uh, very well. But uh, my advice, uh, if you're looking at, at a good solution for a three-gun, uh, it's the uh, rolling range bag. And uh, again, this is much lighter uh, than this bag is. Uh, but that's not a big deal for me because this is simply going to go into my gun cart. Uh, so a uh, little different video here from me today. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, this is uh, this review is, is meant to be a video supplement to my written photo review that can be found on Through My Lens. There will be a link to that review uh, at the uh, bottom here in the description box of this video. Uh, so please do click on that and go to the uh, uh, the written photo review of these two bags. Uh, there's more information there. There's pictures. Uh, there's also some links of where you can buy these at the best price. Both of these are about the same price, which kind of surprised me because, again, uh, the, the rolling range bag is a little bigger and I think a little nicer with the wheels and so forth, but there's only, you know, a couple, three bucks, I think, the difference between them. Uh, but I've got links where you can find the best prices uh, for Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. God bless. We'll see you in the next one.